This is episode 35 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to the Just Ask Joey podcast. I am your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. And as always, we hope it's avoiding, not having to get over, because getting over your idiocy sucks. Uh, Today's episode, if you're wondering why it is called Happy Anniversary, is because today is my wedding anniversary. It is eight blissful years, at least for me, with my wife. Now, my wife, uh, on the other hand, has she's had a couple rough spots in this whole marriage to me, but it is completely my fault. I like to say that uh, our relationship has been a roller coaster, and I'm the roller coaster. I get questions about, you know, what's your wife like, what's a good relationship, how do you know if you're in a bad relationship, stuff like that. So I thought I would take today to, in celebration of my eighth wedding anniversary and nine years together total, kind of talk about her and how the right person can be like a really big thing in your life and how how you know it's the right person. Um, One thing that I give credit to my wife, I give a lot of things credit to my wife actually, but one thing is is she, she knew me before I even knew who I was. Like she gave me the freedom to be who I was and then I had to go and figure out who that was. And because I'm such a dipshit, I was able to go places that I shouldn't have gone. Like, you know, when, like, I think of it like this. If I were to sit down and when I was like 15 or 16 and write down what type of person I was going to be when I was 30, and I'm 37 now, so this is the type of person I was then. I've gotten past the idiocy, remember? F- former idiot. So if I was going to write down kind of who I was idealistically when I was 30, I probably would have thought I was a piece of shit and I would have hated what I saw in my 30-year-old self when I was 15. And, you know, a lot of the stuff on paper, the stuff on paper looked good, you know, married, good job, kid, all that, you know, house, all that stuff. But it was, it was just this, it was just the secrets. It, it's like, if you guys have, have listened to one of, the, one of the last podcasts I did about, about how secrets ruin your life, and if you listen to the podcast I'm going to do tomorrow about kind of people be, you know, pulling yourself out of who you are, like if you don't have like a strong foundation and a strong sense of who you are, you can absolutely be pulled out of it. You're like a, you're like a leaf in the wind. You know, you think you're a tree, but you're really just a leaf. And wherever the wind blows, that's kind of where you go. Whatever it is that's 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 your wind, you know, whatever it is that's pushing your waves or whatever that is, it could be alcohol, it could be women, it could be dudes, it could be drugs, it could be gambling, it could just be lying, it could just it could steal, it could be anything, it could be anything that, that allows you to, that that pulls you off. If you don't have a strong sense of who you are and you don't live your life with purpose and you don't have a strong sense of what your identity is, you're going to get pulled out of who you think you are. Like you, People have an idea of who their core self is. Like I have an idea of like my core self. I'm a good person. I like helping people. I, like, um, I think I'm relatively intelligent and can obviously be you know, just half retarded on, uh, on other stuff as I've clearly shown in my past. But you know, generally good person, good, come from a good family, have a great family now with my wife and, and daughters and stuff but but I was completely able to get pulled out of who I was because I didn't live with any like purpose and my wife does she saw the type of person that I really was she could get through all the bs she could she could all the smoke and all the this and all the that and me trying to figure myself out I guess without even realizing I was trying to figure myself out she was able to see through all that stuff and if it wasn't for like her her strength and and her support and her love like i would never be able to be who i am right now and i think right now i'm the best version of of who i am and that's only because she 
gave me the opportunity to do that. And she gave her love and she gave her support and she stayed there when it would have been much easier for her to take off. It would have been much... I don't even know what the right word is. It just would have been easier. And I think a lot of people do that. A lot of people take the easy way out. But she she saw me. She was able to look past the mistake. And she was able to see like who I really was and who I wanted to be. And she believed in me that I would become that person. Granted, she said, you need to become that person. Because if this shit happens again, I'm out. But even that like second chance means everything. And I think about it every single day. And every day that I get up and I start working on stuff is because I want to show her that she made the right choice. And I want to show my daughter that her mom made the right choice. And I want to show the whole effing world that my wife made the right choice. And that's kind of what drives me. The value that I can bring her life and the value that I can bring my daughter's life is pretty much what fuels me. I'm thinking about this obviously more because of the day and the anniversary, but that's it's pretty much something that that I'm dealing with with every single day. It's how can I get better? How can I do better? How can I help more people? How can I answer more questions? How can I choose the right questions that are going to help the most number of people? How can I do my job better? How can I create better media? How can I create more business for my company? Like, how can I do those? How can I do all these things better? Because I want to be like top level at the stuff that I do. And I want to bring serious value to the people that I interact with on a day-to-day basis and the companies that I work with and the people that I answer questions for and the interactions that I have with people. Like, when I get replies to stuff on, on the blogs... Man, I'm on top of it. If you have extra questions, I'm on top of it right away because I want you to know that I actually care about you getting the right information. Like every single podcast, for the most part, granted there's some political stuff and some football stuff, but there's always there's always life nuggets in there. So even if it's not something that's specifically about life and, and psychology and social psychology and all that stuff, like it's it's something that's designed to help you. Or to help a lot of you. But even if it's just one person, that's fine. I'm cool with helping one person. That makes me happy that one person is helped by this. But that drive comes from her. And I don't know if it's me having to prove to myself that she made the right choice. Or if it's me having to prove it to her that she made it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. All I know is nothing that is any in any resemblance of how I was before will ever come out again, ever. And I have a constant strive to be better. So I take care of myself. I sleep well. I eat well. I read a lot. I work my ass off. I work like seven days a week, some weeks. I fit in stuff so I make sure that I get the work done. But then I'm spending time with my wife. Like I try to do everything to be, to max out my potential and to be the husband and father that I can be and that I should be. My wife gave me that opportunity to do that, to be a husband still, to be a father in the same house as my daughter all the time still. She didn't have to do that, but she did. And I am eternally grateful for that because I know how easily it could have gone the other way. I know how easy it would have been for her to turn away. But she saw me. And she saw what what we had. She knows I was just an idiot. We had lots of discussions about how I was an idiot and how I got myself into situations and all that stuff. And she accepted it. Granted, it's a second chance. There's not going to be a third chance. And there's not going to need to be a third chance because there's no way in hell I would ever do anything to jeopardize our relationship ever again. All I want to do is be a better version of me in all aspects of my life. Better husband, better father, better son, better worker, better creator, 
I want to be all those things. And it, the root of that is her choosing me that day when she could have walked away. So, baby, thank you for choosing me. I think about it every day. I appreciate you, and I love you. If you guys have any questions about relationships, we have been through a lot. We can help a lot. We can see the good stuff and the bad stuff, and we can help you kind of sift through to help you make sure that you're in the right relationship or if it's the wrong relationship, that you're out of that relationship. So if you have any relationship questions, Snapchat seems to be working the best right now. You can ask questions in the comment section. You can find me on the different blogs, Quora, Medium, Tumblr. I'm on all those different things. Whatever one works for you, I'm there. Hope you guys are having a good week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Black hands going, going.